as in the hadith in Al-Bukhari, transformed. And do you know the day palm, yani, the believer um, resembles what? What does the believer represent, yani, um, resemble? Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar raised the tradition, said, I was there with my father, Umar ibn Khattab. And I was like, I know the answer. I know the answer. For he knows, look at the adab. He looks at his father, say, I kid, silent. Abu Bakr, say, I kid, silent. Looks at the, the fuhu, great ones of the Sahaba, Sa'akitun, they're all silent. So he realizes, I think I should be silent as well. Doesn't speak. And then the Prophet وسلم, said, What tree resembles the believer? It's the day palm tree, a nakhla. It resembles the believer. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar says, When I stood with my father to leave the majlis of Nabuwa, that in the gathering of prophecy, I said to my father, and he said, Father, I knew the answer, I knew the day palm tree. Sayyidina Umar said, why didn't you speak? You would have made me so proud. And uh, you just said, the day palm tree, Ya Rasulullah. Uh, so these are day palm trees that are inside the, uh, the masjid. Yeah, they resemble the believer, okay? Upright creatures. And they're going to remain in the mosque for a different purpose. One of them, that's going to be the great day palm tree. That is with the Prophet Sallallahu for dunya wal akhir, hadith mutawata. And when he denies it, exits the fold of religion. That one supreme day palm tree that began to cry and cry and cry and cry when the Prophet left the day palm tree. Only a few step footsteps away, when this beautiful woman from the Ansar had built the Prophet a minbar, a three step minbar. And the Prophet had placed it there. This is the first day he was going to step on the minbar. And then as he moves towards the minbar, people can hear crying inside of the message. And he turns, and it's the date palm tree that is crying. And look at the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rahmah, Lilkul, mercy to all creation, the entire world. He takes the date palm tree and begins to caress and stroke the date palm tree. Look at the tenderness, look at the care. But will mu'mini the ufa rahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If the believers, he's compassionate, he's mercy. This is a believer, date palm tree. It's crying due to mufaraqa, due to the fact that the blessed Prophet is leaving its side. He used to lean on it when he gave the khutbah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that movement away caused deep pain inside of the day palm tree. Believe that. Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala used to say to the tabi'een, he used to say, a day palm tree cried over the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa antum. And what about you? Abu Hurairah would say, radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa arda. Cry. The person begins to speak to the day palm tree and then the day palm tree falls silent. And the Prophet وسلم, informs the Sahaba, I, I ask the day palm tree, the choice is yours. I can remain with you in the world, but you will forgo the next world. Or you let me go to the actual member, and you will be with me in the other world, and you will be tree from which the people of paradise take fruit. The choice is yours. Look what the day palm tree chose. And anybody who's attached to the Prophet وسلم, couldn't care less about the dunya. <laughs> so he chooses the other world and the eternality with the Messenger of Allah and being a, a, a source of substance for believers in paradise. He chooses the next world. Shuf, Think about that. Chooses the next world. Uh, but look, the one who chooses the next world gets the best of both worlds. So the Prophet ﷺ commanded for the day palm tree. He couldn't live in the world without the Messenger of Allah. Bring it down. Couldn't live. Bring the day palm tree down and bury it beneath the member. Sure. So we get the best of both worlds. The blessed feet of the Prophet ﷺ is over the day palm tree inside of the world. And in the next world, mashallah, tabarakallah. And in the barzakh, look how close he is. Uh, he's on one side of Rodam in Riyadh al Jannah and the Prophet is on the other side. Look at the beauty. Just for choosing the other world, the day palm tree. Because of his Hanan, his love, his care for the Messenger of Allah, look what he gets. The best of dunya, best of barzakh, best of the akhirah. Wahantum, and as for yourselves. Wanahan, and as for us. Hey, we've got to reevaluate our, our relationship with the Prophet. Reevaluate it. So the Prophet وسلم, issued the order with regards to the graves of the idolaters, so they were exhumed, and then the dilapidated buildings were leveled and the day palm trees chopped down. 
They thereby lined up the day palm trees facing the direction of the house, okay? This being what? The Kaaba in and of itself.